Hi everyone, you're welcome back to my channel. My name is Falakemi and I vlogged about faith, food, family lifestyles and travel. Today I'm so excited to share this simple and delicious, yummy, call it any name, <laughs> spicy tilapia fish with dodo. Yes, it's so spicy and so yummy and so delicious. I can't even wait to share this recipe with you. I'm one of those people that doesn't really like to cook fish by myself and eat it. And I don't know. I don't know if I, somebody, some people are like that too. If I cook fish by myself, I won't be able to eat it, especially when it's fresh fish. I have been going through this a very long time. But I tried this recipe and when I tried eating it, honestly, I couldn't stop until I finished my plate. It was so delicious. It was so good. And honestly, I can't wait to share this recipe with you. So after all this banter, let's get into the cooking. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is to cut out all the fins, the scales, and make sure I trim out everything. At this point, please be very careful. I have so many, many bad experiences. I think that's one of the reasons why I don't like cooking fish, because you just have to make it very thorough, or else you will not like what you see. So I like to get rid of all those things, the fins, the scales, the everything inside just to make sure that it's very clean and it doesn't hurt you so make sure you trim it out you can use the scissors like i'm a kitchen scissors like the one i'm using or you can if you are very good you can use a knife but i'm always very scared to use a knife to cut out all these things so i prefer to use the scissors which is very you know safe for me so make sure you cut out everything that you don't need the scales the fin and make sure you clean it thoroughly and after this i'm gonna wash it and i've already cleaned it anyway but i'm still gonna reclaim it again then i'll start to spice it up before i go on please if you know you've been watching my channel and you have not subscribed please kindly do consider subscribing it's going to help me please subscribe to my channel and please don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you get notified each time i upload a new video i need your support my people, I really need your support. Thank you so much. And please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to like my post. And don't forget to share my post. So right now, I finished cutting everything and, you know, I'm just trying to clean it over again. Yeah, I just need to clean the fish very well to make sure you remove everything inside and make sure everything is clean. At this point, after cleaning, I'm just going to damp it dry and then, and then proceed to... Uh, putting the sauce on it, the pepper and uh, everything. Before I do that, the next thing I'm going to do is to give the fish some cut. And that cut is going to serve as where the spices and all the seasoning is going to go into. This step is very important because you don't just want to put the spices just on the flesh alone. You want everything to go inside the fish. So make sure you give it uh, a very nice cuts just like this you can decide to do it just any way you want it but make sure you give it enough space so that all those uh spices the uh, uh ingredients and everything is going to enter the fish nicely so after giving it then the next step is to mix all the spices together so that you can put it inside the fish don't forget to hit the notification bell please so basically for the seasoning i'm gonna use garlic and ginger some hot sauce i'll be using paprika ginger bouillon cubes curry powder and thyme like i always say feel free to use any spices of your choice whatever you think works for you just do you for me, I just put everything I love pudding. So, and you can add salt if you want. But most of the spices contains a lot of salt already. So I'm going to, just going to be very minimal on salt. But for now, I'm going to just add everything together and mix it thoroughly. Then I'm going to put it inside 
the fish the paprika gives it a lot of color so if you know you have not used paprika before try using it it gives a very good color it makes it to be very red and you love the flavor of the fish before i go on i want to ask a very simple question i asked a friend of mine recently do you know the difference between the red sniper and tilapia fish if you know the difference please can you please put it in my comment section i would love to know because i'm just learning the difference between the red sniper and tilapia fish and it's so amazing that all this why i thought they are the same thing or they are very they're just different color but the same tilapia but now i know there's a little bit of difference so if you know it please can you put it in my comment section i will really appreciate that the lastly the last thing i'm gonna put inside the spices is my cut or shredded habanero pepe i love habanero pepe not too much if you know you are not too good on habanero place do you you don't have to use it but i want habanero pepe in this fish i want my fish to be spicy i'm not very good in uh, seafood so if I want to eat seafood, it must be spicy. That's the only way I can really enjoy it. And I tell you, this is the first time I cook my fish and I really enjoyed it. It was so tasty, so spicy. I really love it. So at this point, I'm just adding every other spices I have in the house. I'm putting Tony's, Old Bay, and every other seasoning I have. Like I told you, just do you. Do whatever you want. Just make sure it's not too much and you just want to get your fish to be on point. Now, another question I want to ask, how do you like your fish? Do you like it grilled? Do you like it boiled? Or do you like it fried? Please, I want all these answers in my comment section. I really appreciate it because I want to know what you prefer. And that will give me uh, the opportunity to be able to do the next one. I would rather do the fried fish for you or whatever. I just want to know what you prefer. To me... I think I prefer I prefer fried fish. But after this, I think I changed my mind because I love the grilled fish. It really comes out so well. So the next thing is for me to put the spices and ingredients on the fish. And I'm, that is why you leave all those lines on the fish so that you can fill it up. Make sure you fill every hole up. That is what is going to marinate inside the fish and it's going to give it out a very tasty and spicy. So make sure you fill everything up thoroughly and just open up, open it up and fill it up. So right now, that is what I'm doing and I'm so much enjoying it. It looks so good right now. Look at all the lines, look at all the fillings. Then you open up even the inside of the fish and pull so much on it so that look at what i'm doing make sure you rub it in very well and at this point honestly i know it's going to come out very well because there's a lot of stuff inside the fish so after this i'm going to use the brush to rub everything on it make sure you rub it thoroughly make sure every part of the fish is covered give it a smooth rub <laughs> it's like you're massaging the fish and the fish is so much like it. Make sure you give it a thorough massaging. So that is what I'm doing right now. So this looks so good. Looks so fresh. And at this point, I'm already... My oven is already... I'm pre-eating my oven. Yeah. Because after this, I will leave it for some time to marinate and to get... So that the seasoning is going to enter it very well. Then I'm going to put it inside the oven to grill. Like I told you, I want to see all your responses in my comment section, please. This will give me the feedback to know what I'm going to do the next time. And the question in how do you like your fish? Do you want it grilled? Do you want it baked? Do you want it fried? Or do you just want to cook it like that? Like boiling your fish? Let me know in the comment section. Thank you right now i'm done with massaging creaming cleaning doing everything with the fish and it's looking so good so right now i'm just gonna grease the pan what i'm that i'm gonna use to put it inside the oven so just put a little bit of grease and i'm going to line the base with onions if you don't want to use onions you can just leave it but the onions is going to give it another flavor so i will line the base with some onions but before i put everything inside the oven the next step is that i'm gonna put some spices 
and leaves inside the fish and those that i'm going to use some cilantro i will use some spring onions and i will use some onions look at what i'm doing oh that take it to another level because everything is just going to melt inside it and you will love the taste that is what actually got me about this fish it looks so good at the end of the day make sure you stock everything up nicely place it on the pan like that make sure you give it enough room if you don't have enough space you can use do only one at a time but this is a big pan so it can contain the two of the fish so i'm going to put it inside the oven right now and my oven is waiting i can't wait to just eat this fish before i go on don't forget to share my post don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like what i'm doing i appreciate people that have been sharing my post liking my post i really appreciate it. i'm not taking it for granted thank you so much so look at what i'm doing i'm scraping off the pan because i don't want anything to be wasted i want every bit of those spices to go into that fish nothing should be wasted so make sure you do a very thorough job and you will like it i want all the spices to be on that fish and honestly i really enjoy this fish i can't just stop saying that because for real i really enjoyed the fish at the end of the day so the fish is ready look at the color i told you the paprika gives it a lot of color so please make sure you use a good amount of paprika so right now my oven is ready and i'm just gonna put it inside the oven and this is the outcome of the fish look at it after grilling for like 40 minutes it's really looking so good so nice the color is so good all the herbs are really marinated and everything looks so good and the next step is for me to just make the sauce this is really not compulsory you can eat the fish like that but you know i just like to give myself some little bit of you know extra sometimes so i'm just going to give you some spicy colorful pepper sauce to go with it apart from the dodo so what I'm just going to do is to set the pan on the stove, put just a little amount of oil, add some onions, pepper, the mixture of pepper, that is red pepper, pepper, green bell pepper, and the yellow bell pepper. And I'm going to fry everything together and allow just, just want that color and to go with it so that my fish and can have a very good accomplishment yeah so but this is very optional you might eat the fish like that the fish can go without this so like you can see you can do you but i'm just i just want to do this just for me to enjoy my fish very well so i'm just gonna don't let it stay too long just for you to enjoy your fish thank you the last banter before I forget is that don't forget to join me on Instagram, my YouTube page, my TikTok, everywhere. <laughs> Just follow me everywhere. And let's, you know, flow together. This is going to help me. Thank you so much. Now my sauce is really getting so ready. I don't want it to cook too long. Just I have the onions, I have the garlic and the ginger mixed together. Then I'm just going to fry it for some time. Then I'm going to add some little bit of hot sauce. That is a banero pepper. If you are not too good on a banero, please don't use it. You can use any pepper of your choice. But I just want it to be very spicy. So I put some a banero pepper. Then I'm going to add all of the peppers. That's the green bell pepper, red bell pepper, and the yellow bell pepper. Just a little bit of color and I'll be done. Yeah. Look at that. Looking so colorful. That is just what I want. I want my fish to swim in that color. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and you're going to like it. So at the end of the day, I'm just going to give it like two minutes. Let it just simmer on the stove on a low heat, not too hot. So I just want it to just rest up a little bit. Then it is done. And my spicy tilapia, grilled tilapia is ready. I can't wait. To be on the table don't forget, don't forget to subscribe to my channel please i need your support i want to get to ten thousand subscriber before the end of this month it is possible i know you can do it for me right now look at my tilapia Ooh, 
yeah it's looking so nice look at the color i love the, it's very dry not too moisty and you know the inside is moisty but outside is dry just the way i want it and look at my sauce very colorful and look at that combination that combo of dodo that is what they call tilapia and dodo very great combination you can't miss this recipe this is weekend i want you to give your family a treat i did it for my family and i love it thank you for joining me today until next time it is bye from here bye bye